Always in. Hello there, A4. Off we go. Need to row our way out. Sing us a song. We'll share a tale. Run up the tail! Monastery, over there! What are you doing? What's wrong with you?
Hold here. I should not be seen in this area. Show me. Do the Swan Road. More sail! Yes! Strike up a tune. Let's hear a story. I was in Hedeby when I saw the truest scene of love. There were two royals. King Sigroth and Queen Alvidi, who seemed the matched pair. They ruled well, a dynasty of grace, honor, and might. They carried themselves with so much love, all of us envied them. Then Siegfrieda arrived, princess and daughter to King Sharvi. A rival house that had chosen to ally with Sigroth, a powerful union. With everything to gain, all to lose. Save it for later. the good part yet a powerful union with everything to gain all to lose Sigroth and Siegfried are disobeyed all logic and fell deeply in love but King Shadivik refused to part with his daughter an old man his death was coming and he commanded that she die with him she would join him in the corpse hall before joining Sigroth in marriage so it would pass 
Sharvik died. Sigfrid was next to be burned. As the flames took her, Sigrot leapt upon the pyre and followed her into the next place. Sigrot left behind a wife, children, a clan, a village, and all the riches and honor he held in. For love, what he did seems a dishonor. Have a look at him. <laughs> Pull up here! Repton. Secret should be here with the Regna Sons. Who stands before Ivar Ragnarsson? Are you Sigurd Drenger? Igor! Eivor. If you keep that up, we'll stain the floors. The place could use some color. <laughs> Who are they? All spies. Dressed to look the part of a peasant. Got feisty. Pitchfork. From this rabid little one. Was a time when you met and slew your enemy on the field before they could dream of things like sending spies! And now we shake hands and make deals. Not my thing. I figured. I love them whipped, weeping, and reeking of piss. 
Free Saxon piggy to run amok to the Mercian fields. <laughs> uh, I would have let him down easy. Huh. Follow me. I'll give you the tour. What do you call this place? I call it the shithole. To the Mercians, it is Repton. Their most revered kings are buried below the church. Imagine their weeping when we drove them out. <laughs> you plunged your knife deep into the heart of this kingdom. That is right. We've got a number of Saxon nobles lined up with their lips puckered, ready to kiss our asses. The only holdout is King Burgred and his war thane, Leofrid. But my brother is brewing a plan to deal with them. I take it that's where we'll find my brother. Right. Talkers they are, Uba and Sigurd. Might want to dig the wax from your ears. Don't play me for a fool, Uba. I know Burgred sent a Vergeld your way. Enough of your noise, Tona. We have plans to devise. I'm not going anywhere, Backrot. You have the king on his heels because of me. Because of my men. For which you were paid. But that price does not change because you have caught a whiff of our Hexilver horde. You forget I am a sellsword. I ask what I please, and I take what I'm owed. If I wanted to hear you talk shit, I'd gouge out your tongue and shove it up your ass. Now fuck off. Haggling over silver is a bad look for the son of Ragnar Lothbrok. But worry not, Uba. I have the warriors you need. If this is one of them, my worries have vanished. Eivor, wolf kissed. You have come at just the right time. Upa and Eivor here are hunting a king. And when we've caught him, we mean to crown another. Our dear Thane Shellwolf here. It's not a role I begged for, but it's what Mercia needs just now. A man to fairly rule both Saxons and Danes. It sounds like you'll be a king in name only, a puppet. I am doing my part. I hope you have come to do yours. We're going to need all the help we can get for what comes next. The king has refused our offers of peace. Jailwolf means to change that. There'll be a new king for a new England. For now, Burgred is holed up in his fortress at Tamworth, making a final stand. Another shithole. Only further south. We've held a siege there for weeks to no effect. So, no more knocking. Now we batter the gate to splinters. If we take Tamworth, remove Burgred and crown Shellwolf, come morning the Shire is ours. And Mercia soon after. Yes. Remove. I cannot stress that enough. Burgred is not to be harmed. My legitimacy as king hangs on this one simple fact. Uh, you rob all the joy from war, Saxon. Not every victory needs to be marked by the slaughter of a king. Ah, but it is much better. His request is fair, Ivar, and we will honor it. Jeowulf is right to be cautious. If he shows mercy to Burkret, the people will have reason to trust him. My thinking exactly. And the quicker we act, the more lives we spare. On both sides. This is a good plan, brother. I am ready for the coming fight. Agreed. 
Yet remember this. Whatever you stand to gain here, so do we. An alliance between my clan and Mercia's crown. See this man installed on his throne and you will have it. I swear. The bold sons of Ragnar bellow to sound the spear din and the thunder of shields. So let fall the arrow storm. The battle begins. Ah! Oh, you never said this one was a poet. I need to piss. We have a forward camp just north of Tamworth. Will you go with us? Lead the way. Take in the sights of Repton if you like. We will be at the docks when you are ready to go. I'm glad you and your brother have come, if only to bring some measure of calm. Ease yourself, Cheowulf. We all stand to benefit, and you'll be remembered for this for years to come. For all the wrong reasons, I fear. A lively town. Quite a lot to see here. <laughs> what do you see, Zoom? Let's go to Hamra to Mersal. Fresh fruit and in that varilla, some goat and so forth. They have to put them in mjölni. Leiðsagarmenn sem gegna eru eftir vesta vandræði sjómanni. Þetta lítur engum af... Eggman skjúta í honum að hann falist í víking. Það bera þeim. Þeir að eitt. En ég hef högg við tíu tré í dag, mamma. Einu sinni enn dreki út í hann. So, some of us are staying behind as I hear it. Half the army's already in Tamworth, and we've now got help from the south. It's our lot to look after this place now, to protect her. Shame. Wanted to see the look on Burgret's face when we... 
to sing a song. That song. You have spent some days on a long ship. Oh, many. <laughs> See this salt-blasted hair? The talk of pummeling over the years. All that seawater. Feels like hay now. Better keep away from the horses, then. <laughs> you are very quick. And sturdy, by the looks of you. But you are not from that Ragnarsson camp there in Repton. I would have recognized you. I belong to another clan. What are you doing away from yours? I have been cast out. Too old, too frail. Dead weight, as they say. I will have to get used to watching the sights of war from afar now. No shame in that. Not many of us can say they lived long enough to simply retire. You have earned it. But have I? Have I missed my chance? I thought I knew what lay ahead, but now that is foreign to me. Embrace it. Sail the seas, write your songs, and bellow out on the winds. Sounds nice to me. You are far too young to speak so wise. There is a bright future for you and your clan. I would like to add to it. Take this key. And if you find yourself in Repton, seek out my quarters near the docks. There's a large tree out front. Inside, you will find a few of my most prized items. Take them. I no longer have any need. You honor me. Call it a gift from the old guard to the new. Odin, guide your way, young Drengur. I should keep an eye out. This old raider's home, if I ever am in Repton. This must be that old raider's place. He said he wanted me to have his things. filled with songs. Must have taken a long time to write them all out. I should return it to the old raider. Shame. Wanted to see the look on Burgred's face when we stormed his fortress. Now we'll just hear big tales told by drunken heroes.
These are some trinkets you left behind, old man. Ah, you've come back. Why are you wasting your time with me? This crate has all of your written songs. This is not a gift I can accept or repay. You'll want to revisit these someday. They should stay with you. I had forgotten all about them. Something to work at on this new journey of mine. You have only the setting sun to tell you when to stop. And maybe not even then. That is twice you have earned my admiration. Please, tell me your name. Eivor. Eivor. If the gods will it, I will find my seat at Odin's table before you. And there I will speak of you so that when the time comes to claim your seat, they will greet you by name. Farewell. Name is some the will of his end the great and all go the same what do. I've heard all Danes are cursed with slow brains and fat tongues. Care to prove me wrong? Most men choose to be loud or stupid. Impressed that you manage both. I will take you on. Brilliant. Some flighting spirit. How about a wager? Here. Thank you. Let us begin. I have sparred against champions and bested each one. A 
though to beat such a braggart will surely be fun. Ah, quick to bite back. Be careful, young Earth. You're a misfit, a halfwit, a foolish old grouse. You're a weakling, a milksop, a catcher, a louse. Brilliant! I'm the greatest of flighters, a master of verse. Did you bet on yourself? Then know that I will empty your purse. Clumsy phrasing. A sad, sad attempt. I'm impressed. You are as sharp as that axe on your belt. As promised. I will have my winnings now. Take the gold. You've earned it. Survey the area, Sunan. Sail southeast. Bring the men to the gates of Tamworth. We'll flood the fields, and Burgred shall weep at the sight of what the future holds for this kingdom. Eivor, is your axe sharpened? I'm ready for the spear din. And the thunder of shields, yes. It's good to have you with us. To fight beside such legends is an honor. I've only heard tales of your conquests. Now I get to live them. We'll weave our sagas together. Thread upon thread. Come on, boy. We'll forge a man from your softness, hammered on the anvil of One war. One does not need to fight to be Move! A... Move! Calm, Ivar. The fight's not here. Aye. The fight is nowhere to be found in this boy. A boy who happens to be Chelwolf's son. Why is he not in his quarters? Our future king wants a battle-hardened heir. Time he proves his worth, don't you think? Not yet crowned king and already grooming his successor. That shows some boldness. Right. And bold kings need bolder sons. Ivar! He comes with us. And should anything happen to this little sprout, I will bear the punishment our future king inflicts. He'll want to remove your head. Haha, <laughs> you hear that, boy? You die, and I'll have to kill your father, too. Mount up, Eivor. It's a long ride to Tamworth. Have to endure, my brother. He always finds new ways to humor himself. I'll keep that in and mind. Both eyes open. You smell that, Chailbert? The stink of jealousy of our budding friendship, I think. What is Chailwolf's son doing in Repton at all? It's Chailwolf's way of proving his loyalty. And there's no safer place for a traitor and his son. In the middle of a pack of days. Say from who? 
You and Ivar seem to have brought this Shire to help. Beards are with us, common folk. But Burgred still has his soldiers all over Mercia. They're devoted to him, and they'll die defending him. Your voice, Eivor. You sound different than the brothers. Good ear, Lord. Most in England cannot tell the difference. But not all Danes are Danes. From where do you come, if I may ask? North of the Danelands. A place called Fonberg, in Norway. I didn't know there was land north of there. What are <gasps> the people like? You ever see a herd of sheep follow each other off the edge of a cliff? They're like that. The ones who remained, anyway. Couldn't have said it better myself. Was this a mass exodus from Norway, then? It was. Norway is now the province of a young king, Harald by name. A boy wise beyond his years. Are you not angry that he has displaced you and so many others? I was, for a time. But our weeks at sea have softened my brow fire. If I am honest, I realize I quite admire King Harald. By words and by weapons, both. He has pacified the country I call home. For the first time in any man's memory, or any skull's song, Norway has one king. Just one. And that is quite a feat. That is impressive, truly. England is half the size of Norway, and yet we have four kings for our four kingdoms. You see? How could I not be impressed? No, Harald is a good man with grand ideas. I can see that now. I am only six years his junior, and have yet to see my first battle. I cannot imagine the skill and cunning he has. Your first battle is coming, young Chilbert. From this day on, you may see rapid progress. I'm not sure I want so swift a rise. In truth, Chilbert, it is my father who bears the heaviest weight of my anger, not King Harold. My father gifted my birthright to Harold without my consent or knowledge. As easily as if he might hand over a battle of me. It was not merely a deception, it was a betrayal of trust. The prick of which still stings me. Be it a blessing or a curse, family is always first. A good line, boy. Were you not an Adeling, I would hire you as my scald. Scald? It sounds something like Scott, our court poets. Is that what you mean? Right again. Fascinating. The harmony between our words and yours is quite something. As if we were distant cousins, separated by an ocean of time as well as space. <laughs> I like the thought of that. I do. Look at these pagan rats. Ravenous, unseemly beasts teeming over holy ground. Have a care, Lord. These pagan rats are numbers. I can see that, fool. What do we do about them? I advise we strongly consider their demands, Lord. We won't survive a fight. Is that you, Leofrit? How quickly you recover! I'm beginning to wonder if it is a man or a god beneath all that armor. 
A man of God stands before you, Eva. Proud and resolute. That's Burgred's war thing. Killed a dozen of us along the River Trent. It was Ivar's axe that stopped him. That is a poor description of a perfect 30-yard toss. Enough jawing, heathens! Speak your peace! We've come for your crown, Lord. With or without your head attached. Ha, I admire your ambition, pagan. But what you ask is impossible. No Dane ever has, or ever will, occupy Mercia's sacred throne. Would you settle for a Norse? We're not as gentle, but we're much better poets. <laughs> Norse, Dane, dog. You're all the same to me, all godless. My king, may I suggest a more measured approach to this? I grow weary of this palaver. You have trampled our lands, toppled our monuments. We've given you silver, fed your people. And yet, in spite of all this, your encroachment on my kingdom continues. No more! We will die defending what is ours, whatsoever the cost. If you want my crown, Uber Ragnarsson, you must pry it from the hands of my bloodless corpse. Man the walls! To the camp. Round up the men. We're taking Tamworth tonight! Eivor, tell the captain we're ready to march. Hey! Eivor and I will round up the men. Man. Do you know your way around a battering ram? I've seen them in action. I want you at the helm of ours. You're strong and agile. I'll be there. As will I. Huh? Fancy a game of all, Og? Ah, Olag. Aye, what say you? Let's go a few rounds. Let us play. Excellent. Let us not tarry. Interesting. This will do. Mm-hmm. 
Yes! This will be over soon. Oh, very good. A few blows from death now, stranger. <sighs> Interesting. This will do. Fort. Ah, you got me. Shall we go again? Another time, perhaps. Are you? I'm with the Reknesons. It's time to roll out the battering ram. Birgrid wanted to fight. Now we'll give him one. Are you ready to march now? Let's go. It's time to capture a kingdom. What are we going to do about him? Jail there. Something wrong. I know these men, Eivor. I've supped with them. Not two weeks ago, Leofrith showed me how to wield a greatsword. He's a friend. Friendships end, often at the point of a spear. It cannot be that cold. Least of all with Leofrith. He is only following orders. When the march begins, find an empty tent and stay there. Do not think me a coward. I am not afraid of war. I do not want to kill my friends. There's no other way. Fight or hide. It's up to you.
destroy the gate! Slaughter the soldiers! Lead the king to me! Come! We feed the raven! Incoming! Right. 
Busy! It's over, Burkret. Lay down your weapons and surrender. Take three men and search the rear. Look around. See what you can find. I'll send for Chael Wolf. Tell him we found a throne. Ah, that was a good scuffle, hmm? But I did notice we were short one Atheling. Where was the son of our king? Chilbert was around. Maybe you missed him. Your luck. Hmm. A chronicle of payments made. Like a ledger. There's a symbol here. An emblem, maybe. The brothers should see this.
Even a letter. There's a symbol here. Your men have any luck? Nothing. You? This. Do you know that symbol? Tana Sigil. It seems she's been dealing with Burgred as well. The wretch. She was the mercenary barking at you in Repton, yes? She's playing both sides of this war. She could have told him anything. Sold him secrets about me, about Repton. Our plans. Why bother with all this pageantry? Fashion a new crown and stick it on your melon. There you have it. You're the new king. That is not how it works. Not in Mercia. We're wasting time. Tona is our only lead. We talk to her, find out what she knows. I would sooner launch my face into my axe than face her. That might improve her impression of you. We have the same father, Eivor. But his mother was a sow. Meet us at Tona's camp when you're finished here. And bring your patience. And your axe! Eivor, a word, if you would. Go, I'll catch up. I will join the brothers, Eivor. Meet us at Tonus. My son told me what happened earlier, with Ivar pressuring him to fight. He said you intervened. You would be mourning your son if I hadn't. He's not a fighter. No, but he should be. By trial or by training. He'll come around in time, but keep him from Ivar if you can. He's the furthest thing from a mentor.
Could you forget the torch? I told you we need to set fire to the house so the raid feels real. I didn't forget it. You said you would bring it. Ah, you fool! Must I do everything? How could you forget the torch? I... Please do not distract us. We're trying to solve a problem here. We need fire to set the house ablaze. Think. 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 How could you forget the torch? I told you we need to set fire to the... Look, this stranger has helped us. Come here, Sprout. Who are you? You wanted fire. There you have it. Though I get the sense you two are ill-fit for whatever it is you're plotting. <laughs> this one takes us for a fool, brother. We sons of Ragnar have this well under control. No, we do not. The sons of Ragnar? I know of many. But never have I heard of dull and duller. What is your plan here? We set up that abandoned house to practice a raid. Filled it with our most precious things to up the stakes. Even master raiders such as we need to stay sharp, brother. You better hurry. Yes, for glory! Please come with. I do not want to do this with my brother alone. This raid will harden our legacy, brother. Clans will come crawling, begging us to join them. Our names will echo in the halls of Valhalla. And worry not, Spudding Sprout. Together, we will grow you into a fine warrior. I get the feeling we haven't much to teach her. Go on, brother. Like we talked about. Blow these doors in like a punishing storm. Stand back, Sprout, and observe. You may learn a thing or two. I am excited. You must hear it in my voice. Ah, I cannot do it. Gentle as a lamb. Stand aside. What is wrong? The door is not opening. Use the key. Ah, yes. Uh, uh... Where did I put it? God's... Mother's axe! It is inside! Please, stranger, you must get it back for us. Find a way in. Dull and duller, like I said. I do not see it here! I am unharmed, which makes you very lucky. Smart, you mean. I must have taken Mother's axe out of the house, knowing this fool would forget it. And left the key in its place. You two are as useful as a glass hammer. I'm leaving. Do not listen to that drivel, brother. We must endure. The world will know us by name soon enough.
shouldn't be seen. Better be hooded. Must be blocked from the other side.
This is not. This place is heavily guarded. This is not going to end well. Just keep your wits about you. Calm, Ivar. Me and Aver will take care of this. I know. Mm -hmm. Sigurd, is there a problem? We'll go see Tomna. Just the two of us. Ivar and Oba will wait here. Better if Tomna thinks we've come alone. The truth is, I don't think any of us can stop Ivar from cleaving her head open. It's all he was spewing the whole way over here. Right. Shall we? We'll return shortly. A small fortune for whoever sent Tona to hell. I'll hold you to that. From what I overheard in Repton, the brothers had an arrangement with Tona. What happened? She's a mercenary. Uba used her for man and information. But that relationship soured now that Burgret is all but defeated. From what I heard, Tona has hunger for two things. Soft silver, and a stern hump. Neither of which earns you true loyalty. If she can't be trusted, what use is she? That is for us to find out. We may be able to satisfy her. And if we can't? Ivar did tell you to bring your axe. And here they are, as expected. If she takes a liking to you, keep talking. She's more your type, I think. No, no. This is your challenge. Come now, don't drag your feet. We will attack on sight here. Sigurd, what brings you strolling into my camp this brisk day? I suspect you already know. Yes. <laughs> the embers on the air betray me. And yet, if you are here talking to me, King Burgeret remains at large. And who are you, lovely dove? Want to perch your ass on my lap? That's not why I'm here. Where is King Burgret? That is what you want. And what makes you think I have the slightest idea? We found letters. Records of trade. The two of you have a history. What can I say? The king pays well for my services. If only I could say the same for those two Ragnarsson clots. You're dealing with me now. And I want to know what you know. Name your price. Very well. I could use another cow. And you can cover the cost. When Cheowulf is on the throne, do you think he'll be pleased to hear you stood in his way? That you doubted him at all? Settle for half that amount and maybe Cheowulf's first command won't be for your head on a platter. You've got stones. Out with it. Burgred paid me to steer the Ragnarsons clear of two areas, Ledechestre and Tempelbrochfort. It was a hefty amount. If I were you, that's where I'd look. And that is all I know, not more, not less. We are done here. Ledechestre and Tempelbrochfort. Do you know these places? I don't, but the brothers will. I'll bring this news to them. Don't stay around here too long. We've got a king to catch. There's nothing left for you here.
Hey! Cut it out! <laughs> friend. Need your eyes, my friend. Hey, hey. Jill. Let's stretch the knee thing. Kind of trouble.
Best not to draw attention here. Coward, aren't you? Keep the both of idiots busy. Show me what lies ahead. Clever. Let's see what secrets you keep, Tona. Something's going on.
should be cautious around here.
Stretch your wings, Sunan. Why are you still here? Straight to hell with you.
Siegert's told us the news. Well done. Let Estra and Tembleroth fought. What do you know about them? Hmm. Lederchester is a large village. And Tempelbroch, it's an old military fort. Not much else. Burkrit could be at either one. We should check both as soon as possible. And what do we do with Tona? I would bet the sweat off my sack she's writing to Burkrit now, offering silver for a warning about us. You won't be seeing her again. Not unless you're bound for Helheim. I'll collect now, if you don't mind. Ah. This one takes after me, brother. We should get moving, Dringir. I can take the fortress of Templebroch. I will join you, Sigurd. That leaves me led the Chester then. All by my fucking lonesome. Bring a friend, brother. Maybe Eivor dares to be called that. Go on ahead. I'll catch up with all of you soon. Nowhere I'd rather be than splitting skulls by your side. Should you change your mind, I will be here. It shall wear an utlag. It's been a trad and sell. It was our whole. What is someone here of Dallas to son and day? Come, join me for a game of Orlog. Ah, Orlog. Have a seat, will you? Let us play. <laughs> I like you already. Gleima Eivor at Seyon. O gawad vera hort eftir orði.
This will do. on me, will ya? Interesting. Good. will do. My game, stranger. Just give up. Interesting. Good game. No. That is enough Orlock for now. Oh, my God. 
on after these tasks are so easy I could do them myself if I felt like it they're always looking for help so come back anytime Get this well. Not a lot of fight in you, is there? You might be surprised. What do you want? I'd like to do with words what the Corrin deprives my fists. What? I want to have a flighting match. I am ready to duel. My bet. Now speak. Let us see if your skills are a match for your pride. I am feared by all men, be they Northern or Saxon. You look more like a coward. You're trembling, weak and waxen. 
Weak! Pathetically weak! Oh, you think you can scare me? I'm tougher than you! Test your might against mine, and we'll see how you do. How dare you! Let's dispense with these poems and have a real row! <laughs> if it's fighting you want, I shall take you on now. You think you're good with words, eh? How about your fists? I will have my winnings, please. Earn them! Time to die! Yourself. I must say I'm impressed. A test for the mind and the body. Take what you've earned. Thank you. I will.
Thank you. From the bottom of my heart, thank you. I'll tell all my friends of this fortune. I thought you were a cheat, a swindler. But you were right. Lord, light your way. What has spurred his little heart? Ah, my soon-to-be highly coveted elixir. You see, one gulp puts you to sleep, and when you wake up, you are suddenly richer. <laughs> I have not heard this ruse before. It sounds like one I know, and I cannot explain how it works, but it does. Take that gentleman's elation as proof. He and many others have returned to me, all with different tales to tell, but all wealthier in the end. All right. Give me the elixir. I don't have any on hand. To brew this elixir involves great risk. You must be certain you are up for the challenge. Won't know until I hear it. Very well. There are two crucial ingredients you must bring me. Bear testicles and fresh lichen. Where can I find these ingredients? There's a den just west of here where the bears have taken a liking to winter chanterelle. As for the lichen, you can find some growing in the well outside. Be careful. Where can I find these ingredients? There's a den just west of here where the bears have taken a liking to winter chanterelle. As for the lichen, you can find some growing in the well. Not good. Where can I find these? There's a den just west of- As for the lichen... Here's what I needed from the bear. Where can I find these ingredients? There's a den just west of here where the bears have... As for the lichen... Where can I find these ingredients? There's a den just where... As for the lichen...
Definitely not good. Where can I find these ingredients? There's a den just west of... As for the lichen... Aren't you pleased with yourself? Lichen for the alchemist's elixir. Here, I have brought what you asked for. Very good. Let me get to work. I will have the elixir ready shortly. There we have it. One elixir of miraculous wealth. Enjoy. Looks as though this one took the elixir as well. Ended up here, but could not get back out. I should return to the alchemist, see if he knows what happened.
Kind of trouble. Flashing. You, alchemist. What happened to me after I drank that piss? How should I know? I told you, I cannot explain how it works. What I can say is the elixir hit you particularly hard. You stumbled out of here, then began sprinting across this forest as if you had a nose for something. Very feral. I was worried, but I'm glad to see you are all right. Your wealth has swelled, has it not? In a manner of speaking. I awoke in a cave beside a dead man clutching some treasure. Hmm. I've not heard that outcome before. One of your customers on the same pursuit, I think. Only he was not so lucky. Perhaps I should shelve this elixir for the time being. At least until I can better understand its effects. Good thinking.
Take you.
Crossing a new threshold. Take care, for it is difficult to know what foes lie in wait beyond. Lieth still more remnants of the Nephilim. I have marked a symbol upon the stones that future folk may imbue their spirit and energy within. For those who wish to seek communion with the Lord here, be wary, for he speaks through ciphers and his words are woke. still more remnants of the Nephilim. I have marked a symbol upon the stones, that future folk may imbue their spirit with the energy within. For those who wish to seek communion with the Lord here, be wary, for he speaks through ciphers, and his words are woven with ancient fibers. He is manifest here. He hath made importance of these pillars, wrought by the giants of yore, now guarding us. As only he knows. Amen.
This is taking... Please. My family, they've... died unjustly. They need to be burned. But this fire won't do. I must burn them before they turn into vengeful draugers. There must be something around here that burns. Oil jars for the fire. This should be enough. Thank you. Thank you. Now may they rest in peace. Will they truly rest? You said the Draugrs, your family no less, would return vengeful. It's my fault. I killed them. My greed robbed me of my senses, and now my family. My brother was to inherit my father's wealth. But it was my right. They called me a lout, a disgrace. They were right. Now our family fortune sits in the house, worthless when there is nobody left to enjoy it with. A favor, I beg of you. Slay me so I may join them in Helheim and beg their forgiveness. Men like you deserve something worse than death. I hope your family condemns you even in Helheimer. Thank you. 
Shall we be deemed worthy? May we meet again at Ragnarok. This area is off limits. did better than your tight-lipped man here. He'll never say anything again. We've told you everything. Won't you let us go? That depends on what happens here.
What do you think? By land or by water? If we take a boat in there, it'll cause a stir. Is that a bad thing? Hmm. Feels stronger already. Aver, there you are. What's with the prisoners? Man from the fortress, out on patrol. We squeeze them. Burger's not here. It's his queen they're guarding. Others with him. They must have separated after Tomworth. It won't be long before someone comes looking for these men. We need to get inside and find Adels with. Capture a queen to find a king. It might work. Only one way to find out. See if you can get anything more out of them. Me and Aber will take care of fetching Adels with. Oh, then guide you. The Saxons won't welcome us through the front door. We could find a quiet way in, or we can take your longship. I'm beside you either way. Ah, oh, Aver. I have dreamt of this day. Of scouring the Shire in search of a king. Of going a vikingur. With you. With our brothers and sisters. Conquering new lands, forming lasting friendships. And if it takes chasing some weasel across a new land, so be it. I am right where I wish to be. As am I, brother.
the idiot down. Get round the side. Great. God loves me.
You three, scurry. Lady Athelswith, I see Burgret has done his best to hide you away. But what is lost must always be found. Let my handmaidens walk free of this place. They have nothing to do with our quarrel. You hear that, Eivor? Noble. Selfless. This is the sword you must strike a bargain with. A woman of quality. We seek only your king, lady. Tell us where Burgred hides, and we will leave without an ounce of blood spilled. Please, I... I don't... I don't know. If... She is only naive to her present danger. But she will soon understand. Wait. Those are the hands of one who washes linens. A servant. She is a decoy. Oh, guards! Come quickly! The Danes! They found me! Watch the handmaidens. I'll follow Athels with. will send you all to hell.
A lone berserker roaming these lands. What is it you're in search of? Not you, Dane. Now go, before that changes. Quite clever, your ladyship. You're certainly making us work for it. Keep your hands off me, pagan! Have you lost your sense of us? <sighs> Lady Othersquith, you have seen better days. God will sear your soul, heathen, if he can find it. Why, the catch, Aver? She's as much a poet as you. Where's my Kathleen? What have you done with her? Your handmaiden, you mean? The brave one? Dressed in royal finery? Season change with the others. I'll take them back to Tamworth. Get them talking. If she has so much as a scratch on her... I will inform Cheerwolf. He might have some ideas on how to get through to her. I'll go to Lerichester. Ivar may have had better luck. Sigurd, what about these prisoners? We've got what we need. Let them go. So kind. Oh, Thank what's you. Going on? Yeah. Guards here are vigilant.
There! A military encampment! Let the sail out! What's going on?
Sunen, guide me.
Liga era Gera. Some sort of port there! an epic tale. Drop them off! I know a crazed man about my age called Rokur, who we had taken to calling Rokur the Rodent for his habit of collecting axes. For 20 years, he collected axes of all make and size. Red. Hold on, good skeleton. Oh, oh, I'm 
inside the... <laughs> <laughs> Help me out here! Come here!
förum að brjóta eitthvað. Salskjall's got a story. Not long before leaving for England, I made a solitary trek into the mountains east of Thornburg. I was looking for elk or deer or other game to bring home. But my luck was poor, and I could find nothing worth my arrows. Coming up over a rise, I saw a rounded mountain ahead of me, with a strange narrow slit in the earth. We'll pick up from there.
Eivar, leggjum um skiviking. Sing, my ravens. Take the mask down. Let's put in here. not to draw attention here.
Say that again? You heard me. I need eggs. Viper eggs. Crusty little shits won't go away. This is my land. I was here first. So, as I said, bring me viper eggs, and I'll make sure they leave and never come back. Provoking snakes is not how I plan to spend my day. But that could change. A reward? Yes, I understand your meaning. Bring me the eggs and it will be done. Yes! Oh, more! More Viper eggs! Oh, that's much better! Getting closer now! I can feel it! More eggs! More! Uh. <laughs> oh, yes! <sighs> oh, I knew I would regret this. <coughs> <laughs> That nearly turned my insides out. Oh, I wish I could see the stir I've caused above. Ugh, my reward, before I choke to death. <coughs> As we agreed. Well, have you nothing to say after such a forceful breaking of wind? <coughs> it blew me away. <coughs> <laughs> Be gentle if they spot me. The smell! 
I can't! <laughs> oh, my throat! It's like someone has poured...
This place is heavily guarded. I need your eyes, my friend. What do you see, Sunan? Good timing. We would have stormed the place without you. Soldiers are plenty. Wagons going in and out. That weasel Borgred is here. I'm sure of it. The bathhouse there and that church. See, I sent a scout to check them both. Should be back at any moment now. Did you see Uba and Sigurd in Templarbrach? Borgred's wife was hiding there. Others taking her back to Tamworth. Something wrong. My brother, that's what. No small tension between you two. Thought you'd be more like-minded. You and Sigurd, you always see eye to eye? More often than not. You are still young. You live to my age and you will see. The closer you get, the greater the stink that rises. Time's up for your scout, I'd say. He's either dead or run off. Give him a chance. Can't risk them seeing us and Burkrit slipping away again. You stay here and wait for your scout. I'm going in. <laughs> What's all that about? to ground in the hay. This must be the bathhouse. We need to find a way inside. The guards here are vigilant. Yeah. <laughs> 
Jailbed. Abel. Have you lost your mind? I feared you were one of them. Keep quiet. What are you doing here? I'm... I was looking for Burgred. You are Eva's scout. I hoped I might find Burgred myself and talk him into surrendering. But he's not in Leatherchester. How can you be sure? Leofrith passed this way with some men. I eavesdropped. It seems they're only stockpiling food here. But he did say something of interest. Gave orders to send more men to Burgred's wife, the Lady Arvelsbeth. She's in Templebloch. Not anymore. We stormed the fortress and took the lady back to Tamworth. She would know where Burgred's hiding. Do you hear that? The sounds of battle. Ivar. Let's get you out of here now. Where are you going? I know my way around. We'll go through the market. This way. Everywhere. Stay close to me. What? What do I do? Fight, man, fight! Kill you! Get on the other side.
Gab. I... I don't think so. My God. I didn't want it to come to this. It would have killed you, Chilbert. You had no choice. Now don't move. Where is your king, Saxon? Where is he? Lord our father, grant me salvation. When does their god find the time to answer so much mumbling and whimpering? You're reckless, Ivar. Cheobed could have been killed. Who am I to stand in the light of a boy searching for his balls? Don't excuse yourself. You enjoy this too much. Stop. It wasn't Ivar who sent me. I sent myself. Have caution, boy. Until your father is crowned your Mercia's enemy, not its champion. You understand? I understand. Good. Now return to Repton and remain there until we call. Will you not stay, Wolfkist? There is no king, but we have corpses to loot. I'm off to Tamworth. The Lady Athelsweth may be singing a sweeter song. Take everything! Pile the soldiers here! We'll bear witness to the carnage that awaits their kingdom! Whoever trains these mercy and soldiers should be relieved of their duty, I think. My battle cannings have worn thin. I am no longer the reed among shields, the glimmer blood, the hallowed skull crack, the scourge of swan roads. The Iron Throng, the lender of silver gelds. I only wish to be a freebooter. Someone who writes their own destiny. Be glad you head to Valhalla with a poem on your lips. Whoever trains these mercy and soldiers should be released. These mercy and soldiers should be relieved of
We will leave under the cover of night. I will enter the camp alone. We will not leave you, Editha, no matter the danger, no matter the risks. We do this together or not at all. We will leave under the cover of night. I will enter the camp alone. We will Don't not... you know it's forbidden to consort like this under God's roof? Take what you want, heathen. Just leave us be. You must be the abbess here. Why do you hide in a musky old church? We are not hiding. We sought to flee the Shire in the midst of this ungodly war. But in our haste to leave, I lost my crozier, fell into the hands of some guards in a camp just below. And I am not leaving without it. Dangerous endeavor for three sisters of the cloth. What is your plan? You're gonna bore them with Bible passages until they give it back? Do not be afraid or discouraged, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. <laughs> it just may work. Or better yet, I can get your crosier back. You would help us? Mercian soldiers make good practice. And now I'm invested in your plight. Lead the way. Oh. How long since you fled the ministry? must be weeks now. We had no plan and no help. We just knew we had to get out of Ledichester, whether it is Burgred on the throne or one of yours. Makes no difference. Their reign would be less than godly. No offense. None taken. This is the camp. One of them has my crozier.
Crowseer. I have it. Let's go! Down to the river! You're unlike any sisters I have seen. Bare-fisting armed men like that. I can do all things through him who strengthens me. We Christians take matters into our own hands well enough. We are nearly there. Lincolnshire is on the other side. Now I've seen everything. That is far enough. Sisters, gather around. Let us pray to the Lord our God and thank him for watching over us. Your crows here. The Lord sent me a shepherd to help lead my flock today. Thank you. You did not have to do what you did. There is truth to that. You would have done fine on your own. I will never look upon sisters of the cloth the same way after today. And I will never look upon heathens the same way. Farewell. My eyes soon. I don't know if you can't do it, but I don't know if you can't do it. I don't know if you can't do it. 